Hello student, I am Dada Pires from Government Degree College, Chanigiri. Today, I would like to give some lecture about the rotational spectra. Uh, this is the topic related to Dhanire University of uh, fifth semester, uh, physics paper sixth. And I would like to talk to some, uh, it is directed to a molecular physics uh, in the subtopic is the rotational spectrum. Today's uh, objectives of uh, learning is the, we must learn the how, how what is the uh, rotational spectra of diatomic molecules and uh, how we derive an equations for the rotational energy level, how the rotational energies and uh, frequency are distributed among them, today's uh, learning objectives. And you after listening this uh, lecture, you will able to gain the knowledge of the rotational spectrum of the uh, diatomic molecules and also the how the rotational energy levels are spaced and how the frequencies, uh, frequency energy levels are uh, distributed among in the uh, diatomic molecules. As we move further, so before we going, we must know something previous, we can should know what the spectra, spectra is a group of uh, uh, different frequency lines, group of lines. Uh, combine with our different frequency means a different wavelength. So, they combining form a band that is called spectra group of lines of different wavelength called spectra and the about the diatomic molecule as you know that diatomic molecules are uh, um, hydrogen, oxygen O2, hydrogen H2, uh, carbon monoxide. So, they are different two types that is one as the homonuclear and, as, and uh, another one is uh, heteronuclear the atomic molecules. As you know about the dipole moment, dipole moment is nothing but uh, separations of their charges. Uh, a molecule whose hydrogen H2 is the di diatomic molecule, but it does not have dipole moment because uh, their H and H atoms uh, centers are coincide with each other, they are, they are not separated, they are one by one, they are overlap each other. So, their center of uh, center of the hydrogen molecule is coincide with this one, there is no separations, they are overlap, that is why the dipole moment is absent. When carbon monoxide, carbon and oxygen are separated, some, some extent they are separated, so they have dipole moment. As we move further, so what is uh, rotation spectra? Rotation spectra is the transitions of the electrons in an atom, the nucleons, it may be the nucleons or electrons in an atom, uh, they are transfer, transitions takes place from uh, one, one state to another one. And this transitions in the form of the, uh, between the rotational energy level, such uh, by the absorption or emissions of the radiations. The rises are uh, fall to the lowest level. This spectra gives the rotational spectra. Uh, conditions for the rotational spectrum, they should have dipole movement. As we move further, so how can we derive an equations for the rotational spectra of diatomic molecules? Derive an equations for uh, rotation spectra and uh, of uh, diatomic molecules. Consider there are the two, two molecules, uh, it may be M1 and M2, they have some uh, separated with a distance uh, that is R, their bond length from center to center, but they are rotate about their center of axis, whose from center of axis the M1 is uh, lies uh, the distance of R1 and M2 lies distance of R2 from the center of uh, point. So, from the figure, we can say that R1 plus R2 is equal to R that is bond length, that is bond length and uh, due to the center of mass, their uh, product of their mass and uh, distance from the center of mass is equal to, is equal. So, this M1 is R1 is equal to M2 R2 as we see here, M1 equal to R1 is equal to M2 R2. So, 
if we go to simplify and this uh, value from this uh, previous year though so r 1 is equal to m 2 r 2 by m 1. So, we are right here. So, simplify put this r 1 value is in the uh, bond length that is r equal to r 1 plus 1 1 r 1 value put this value m 2 r 2 by m 1 plus r 2 and they simplified it and uh, put r 2 is equal to is equal to m 1 m 1 plus m 2 into capital r that the bond length. Similarly, for this is for the r 2 and uh, for r 1 uh, similarly, we can write this one is m 2 r by m 1 plus m 2. Then this value put r 1 and r 2 in the moment of inertia, the moment of inertia about the center of mass is given by e equal to e equal to m 1 r 1 square m 2 r 2 square. Put this value of r 1 here, this one r 1 and r 2 this one value put this and uh, make simplify it and uh, take common. So, then the mass is uh, let us say this equation is reduces to i equal to uh, m 1 m 2 by m 1 plus m 2 into r square, but uh, put this value r 1 is this one r 2 is this one r 2 value is r 1 value is this and make simplify you get i equal to mu r square mu is the constant that is called reduced mass we call it as a reduced mass and reduced mass equal to uh, m 1 m 2 by product divided by their sum that is called reduced mass. What is the reduced mass? When two uh, atom molecules, two molecules rotate about their uh, center of axis, the both the masses, their effective mass that is called reduced mass, their effective mass will be play a great role here. The one mass is heavy, another one is small. So, when they rotate about their axis, their uh, resultant mass is uh, called reduced mass. So, that is given by mu that is i equal to mu r square i is the moment of inertia, moment of an inertia is nothing but the product of their mass and their uh, square of their distance between them. So, as we move further, so see uh, some the molecules are rotation. So, they have uh, some kinetic energy and this kinetic energy is given by the uh, about the rotation kinetic energy is given by i equal to e equal to i omega square as this is the kinetic rotational energy of the molecule. And also we know that the angular momentum, angular momentum is the momentum of the in a rotating body of a that is given by L is equal to i omega, i is the moment of inertia and uh, omega is the angular velocity. And also the angular momentum is also given by the square root of j into j plus 1 and h cross. What is the j here? j is nothing but it is a rotational quantum number. The number arises due to the rotational energy levels that is given by j is the rotational quantum number and h cross is the constant that is given by h by 2 pi. So, see here. So, on this put this equation L and E and make simplify I sorry uh, make it simplify uh, you got this value i omega and uh, make it square divided by i and multiply this uh, uh, for keeping l square that's why it is multiply with i by i i by I, that is i square by i so put this l l square by i value will be simplified here. So, on this put L square by 2 i will be formed. So, L square is the square root of j into j plus 1 h cross. So, we got the value is j into h cross square by 2 pi. So, you see here this is not the value h cross value is h by 2 pi. So, see here uh, j into this is the equations for the rotational energy of a diatomic molecule that is j into j plus 1 h cross square by 2 i. And using this energy levels, how the energy levels are arranged in the 
diatomic molecules are they are equally spaced are they are not equally spaced and how they are arranged how the frequency is arranged let us be discuss in the further slides. So, see here uh, uh, as we move frequency of the rotation spectrum as we know that the rotation is the transitions from the one level to another level. So, they move it how they move are they move a only one energy level above it or below it uh, fall to below it let us be check. So, that is the selection rules will be considered the selection rules for the rotational energy level is plus or minus 1 means it jumps to next to their energy level or it may be falls to the below their energy level that is plus 1 upper 1 minus 1 below 1. So, when the energy is transitions from the E 1 to E 2 and we given uh, by H nu we know that E equal to H nu value we know that. So, in this regarding H nu equal to E, e is nothing but that their difference E 2 minus E 1, but E 2 is uh, here is the J changes to here is the J changes to J plus 1 upper energy level. So, uh, upper energy level. So, J changes to J plus 1 and we write put this value and uh, E 2 is J plus 1 and E 1 is E j put this in the value of energy level and you got uh, answers that is uh, j plus 1 into j into j plus 1 means j plus 2 j cross square by 2 i minus e j e j surely same answer j into j plus 1 h cross square by 2 i and we got j plus 1 into h square by 2 i into 2 keep it as it is. So, it is helpful for next one. So, as we move further slides uh, we see that put the value for the frequency that is put j is equal to 1 this is the frequency nu h nu uh, h may be cancelled. So, let it be there. So, nu is put the value of j is equal to 0 1 2 3 like this you got the uh, energy frequency of this 1. So, we got put the 0 we got 1 s square by i put the j equal to 1 j plus 1 is uh, 1 plus 1 2 s square square 3 j plus 2 j plus 1 means uh, 3 s square 3 like this way it proceeds. When we see here uh, the number is increased by step wise there uh, difference is common difference is there. So, and that we can find out there when we difference there e 1 minus e naught equal to h nu that is s square by i equal to h by 4 pi square you, I am put here the value of uh, h cross square h cross square is nothing but h by 2 pi h square mean h square by 4 pi square and h h is here. So, h square this one will be get cancelled that is nu equal to uh, we got h divided by 4 pi square i we got this one value. So, we got h by 4 when we difference between their uh, corresponding uh, energy level whose are adjacent their energy level we got h by 4 pi square. Uh, let us we check for further one and second difference and uh, previous one is E 1 and uh, E 3 minus E 2 at last we got the same answer that is h by 4 pi square i means their frequency levels frequency energy levels of rotational energy levels are not unequal they are equally spaced every term they are equally spaced if they are frequency is here next one is just uh, besides it. So, next one is this one or uh, lower if you go lower one that is equal to same distance they have same equal distance though they are not be a differently aligned. So, we got that so frequency lines are equally spaced. So, in the rotational energy level all the frequency lines are equally spaced as we see here how we are equally how they may be ask you questions in the examinations how show that how frequency lines are equally spaced take the equations of the and their uh, selection rules solve give the value for j uh, rotational quantum number j equal to 1 0 1 2 3 and then uh, find their differences then we got it. So, as we move further how the rotational energy levels are lies 
how the rotational energy levels are uh, are they equally spaced are they uh, differently spaced let us be check here. Mm, we know that the rotational energy level is uh, given by this one. E j equal to j into j plus 1 h cross square by 2 y. Put the value of uh, j 0, 1, 2, 3 like this, we got some value. If you put j equal to 0, we got e naught is e j means e, z, e 0 equal to 0. Put j is equal to 1, we got e 1 is equal to 1, 1 into 1 plus 1 means 2 that is 2 h cross, h cross square by 2 pi. I will put 2 and you got the e 2 that 6 h square by 2 pi and put this 3, 4, 5 you got some value of rotation energy energy. After uh, you take this one and take their differences energy level e 1 minus e naught e 2 uh, you take difference of this one and take difference of this one next e 3 minus e 2 e 4 minus e 3 like this way you see the difference how the energy levels are will be arranged in the rotational energy level, we see here uh, the answer is E 1 minus E 2 is gives 2 s square by 2 y and E 2 minus E 1 is 4 s square by 2 y and uh, 3 is given by 6 s square by uh, 2 y means 2, 4, 6, 2, 4 uh, like this way. So, you got the 12 one, next one will be 12. So, if you difference is seen here, so from this rotational picture, see that this diagram, see the diagram. So, you will be uh, seeing here E 1 is the 2 s square by and energy levels E 1 and E 2 will be this one value and E 3 is this one E 4 is 20 s square by 4, uh, 20 s square by 2 y and see here the energy levels first level is very near second one is very distance third one is further distance and fourth one is most further distances the distance difference between the energy levels are uh, changes means there are not equi distance so we can be concluded that the energy rotational energy levels are not equally spaced rotation energy levels are not equally spaced in the rotational spectra. As we move further, so this all about the rotational uh, spectra. So, you see that this one as we can be let us check your uh, knowledge how you understand this rotational spectra. Uh, you know that rotation energy levels of a molecules are. So, what is your answer? Whether it is equally spaced or unequally spaced, no energy level at all are both A and B. Which you give answer? Yes, absolutely right. Rotational energy levels of a molecules are unequally spaced, not equally spaced, unequally spaced one. So, so, what about the frequency lines of uh, space in the rotational spectra, whether they are equally spaced or they are unequally spaced, not energy levels at all are both A and B. Yes, frequency lines of space are equally spaced, they are equally spaced. So, what is the selection source we follow from the uh, rotational spectra that is plus 1 or minus 1 or plus or minus 1 or none of these ones. Which one is the best one you got? Yes, this is the third one. You got the value that is the plus or minus 1. Hence, okay, this is all about the rotational spectrum. You learn very well or you can be and listen slowly, then you can be understand very well. So, okay, thank you, thank you very much and you, you can also be subscribe my YouTube channel Dada Pires Physics. So, okay, bye, bye, see you.